is up guys welcome back to another video today we are playing wipeout yes the one and only tv show that you guys enjoy on this channel that i've never done before but this is going to be the first time shout outs to juicy fruity for coming up with this idea he will have his version of it with his prizes on his channel so you guys should check it out now in this video you may be wondering watch what are the prizes first place prize is a field tested dragon lore worth around 1300 usd yes it is very beautiful the next one when we scroll down here is a karambit marble fade one of the most sought after skins in 2004. Move it on. <laughs> We also have another one, which is the Huntsman Knife Doppler. Those are the top three prizes in order. And we have 25 different contestants in a Discord call that are going to be competing. The top three prizes are going to be going for this. And they have no clue what map they're going to be playing on. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, if you guys have watched Wipeout, you probably will be familiar with a similar map where people have to go. And it's going to be a death race up until the end. But they are obstacles where each person can get hit, uh, which I find to be really entertaining as you can watch this guy here he's about to die three two one and boom there <laughs> Anyways, the person who reaches the final will be awarded with these skins. But the problem is there are little crates that will give you special weapons that you can sabotage other players with. But a few of them will slow you down, which is a sabotage for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video idea. And uh, if you guys want to see more, make sure you get this video to 3K likes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, contestants. Hey, hello. Now, before we start, I do want to interview a few people here. And uh, if you guys can just step away from your keyboards, let's get started. So welcome to Wipeout. This is my map. And uh, I hope you guys are excited for some fun. <laughs> now, first thing that I do want to let you guys know is we're going to be interviewing Had One. What's up, man? Yo, bro, how are you? I'm good. Now, listen. Give us a walkthrough of your game plan, your it's, strats. What are you feeling right now? Give us a sense of your emotions, bro. I don't know. I'm so nervous, bro. I'm so nervous. Now, if this you guys heard the lifetime opportunity, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the winner is getting a field test of Dragon Lore, which uh, yeah. is a pretty big skin. I know a lot of people are excited about that. But the thing is, who in here thinks they can beat Had One? Me. I can. Okay, Mercy. And why yeah, is that? One person, one person, come on, come on, dude. That is the... Yes. Okay, the real question is, out of all of you, who has tried the map before? Who's got pre-existing uh, uh, experience? No. Apart from this warm-up, no. I don't want to say you're all fucked, yeah, but you're all fucked. Only... <laughs> now, you guys probably thought that we would let these people while we get ready warm up on this map, but that is actually not the case. We're about to switch the map and hit them with a map that they have never played before. I feel like this is going to be the perfect way to get them to not have any skills and uh, wipe out a lot more. So I hope you guys are excited. We're about to switch to map blue. Yes. Also important to note that they can sabotage each other. So even if they're in first place, they can get a scout from a box and annihilate the guy in first place. So even if someone has a huge lead, the scout can be the end now before we get into it juicy since we are casting this what are your thoughts about blue map because i feel like i've been blue map before twice i'm uh really good at this i feel like they're gonna run into a lot of struggles there's a lot of things that they will yeah. not be expecting that were not on the red map and were not on your map which was orange so i'm very excited to see what happens here and uh yep. death race should be starting in about a minute yep so the, the blue race requires a lot of patience it's all about agility these people need to realize not to not to rush. It's all about taking your time and securing each checkpoint. If they do rush, they will die and they can lose their position. So this is all about patience. Blue map is a bitch, so they could mess up regardless. But if from what I can remember, it's a pretty solid map. So I wish them the best of fucking luck. <laughs> and the Holy best part fuck. about this, the best part about this map is it has the little balls that normally in a wipeout oh, yes. match. And uh, they're going to yes. be having to go over that. Then we are moving on to the surfing area, which some people People are not good at and uh, they're gonna have to glide through the air this part is my favorite also throughout the <laughs> <laughs> The best part is these things will spin at different rates, so they have to really be patient. There's no actual way to get across two at a time, so they all have to wait. And uh, if somebody wants to pass the lead, uh, it's going to be really tough for them. Then they also have these things that bounce you off. I feel like this map kind of gets really tricky when you get to the ladder room as well. And later on, we have lasers as well, which some of them do 100 damage. So if you die, you go back to the beginning. <laughs> Moving on from here, we have the spinning thing that used to screw me over so many times, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. 
god no one will expect that and then here you can glide and strafe left and right but people won't know that so they'll be going really slow if they don't have a clue and uh that is the finish line so any predictions yeah. on who's gonna win honestly i have a good eye i got, I got a good, good feeling about xylan uh honestly the more and more i look at this map this map is literally all about timing and like movement literally so i think xylan might come top three again he took first place in the first game so i got high hopes for xylan honestly in this one i i do have my money on him as well because his b hop skills were good but he also had luck because nomad was actually i feel like he was in first place for a long time until the end because he fell yep. to a misfortune and he actually i don't even think classified in top three so that's uh he really needs yeah, to it seem come that back nomad can't rehandle really the pressure very well i think he does definitely crack under it uh whereas i think xylan has that little bit of extra gut courage that allows him to not choke on the final like, I, checkpoints. I do i do agree but what we're gonna do is uh ready up ladies and gentlemen wipeout is about to start warm up is ending in three two one and uh we're gonna have match starting in three two one all right so There's they got a minute, minute here, here to focus and i'm just gonna go over and uh give them a little bit of info all right ladies and gentlemen like i mentioned before first prize winner is a field tested dragon lord second prize is a karambit marble fade factory new and third place is a huntsman knife doppler best of luck to everyone match will begin in 30 seconds this map is interesting but i beat it twice so you should too all right three, three two, two one, one go bing, 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 bing. why is this guy running sideways <laughs> zero map awareness ladies and gentlemen we are here at the bouncy ball section and uh let's see if anyone's gonna be falling into the water we got three people four Whoa, half the map lot. is there gonna be anyone to beat this you have to actually Nobody. jump crouch for this one and uh the person wow. who's actually winning is really behind because he's taking his time that is not a good way to yeah. go sometimes it's better to fall in the water what are your thoughts Ooh, some people yeah, know how I to think glide that's correct assumption he is right at the end now because oh, of no. that he did complete it but it's not gonna help him in the long run he's got to really uh speed up now because he's quite far behind we're onto the uh the circle blue spinny things this is where timing comes into play they cannot get too greedy or else they're gonna flop like that guy <laughs> <laughs> the problem is oh, here <laughs> the problem is here juicy is that if you are seeing somebody ahead of you what usually happens in your brain is i need to go twice as fast and the problem yeah. here occurs is that one you have to be patient or else oh. you're gonna be that guy right there fly uh, but we are here oh at the... <laughs> oh, no, here are the boxes. I wonder if anyone's going to pick any of them up to have some sabotages. We have a oh, yes. decoy, and he uses that to boost himself. Did you see that, Juicy? Oh, nice. That was insane. I didn't fuck? even know that was a thing. Wow. IQ levels. Oh, no, he has fallen. This is the ladder of death. That, that, uh... There's a few people that completed the, the hammers, I, I guess we'll call them. They're still in the front. There's no one that's clearly in the lead just yet that I can see. They're all fairly close to one another. Yep. We are, the lasers four. are here. They've gotten some this practice the on the green here. map, but these are more <laughs> damage, dude. The problem is you have to take zero damage. And when you get to the red one here, you actually have to take damage of the last one. And if you don't do it, you might actually... <laughs> Die. Yep, you're right. <laughs> so you cannot duck under the red. You actually have to jump over it. But if you take damage, you will most likely die. So it is a key not to take any damage near the end. And that is the problem here. You have to kind of tank it. And oh yeah, my god, he actually with made it. All around them, they're going to be coming to peer pressure right now. They really can't afford to, to rush anything at this point. They do need to take a hit. I don't think they realize that the blue lasers only do 50 damage. I think it's 25, actually. That's why it's really oh, interesting. 25? yeah oh no but oh, we are here the in the top the oh my god they are trying to sabotage each other with bombs and everything dude oh, molotov wow, is going off hit. and he oh he to missed nobody. Yeah, <laughs> that actually did nothing here we go this is actually interesting these move really fast so you could be that guy <laughs> We are here with Status, who is in first place, and we have second with Danny CSGO, and had one is still here, man. He got fifth place in the last one, but I don't know, man. I feel like Status has picked up a slow-mo, and uh, I think he has a, something in his hand. He just used the super speed to hop over these. This is quite interesting. I feel like Status has taken a massive lead, but is he going to know to strafe yeah. between these? Otherwise, he's going to be going really slow. Yeah, yeah this I, one I, I don't think he knows. Well, he I don't think he cocky. knows. He is not he's strafing. taking his time. He's not, he's not strafing. You're supposed to go left to right. Now he's going to get caught up if the next person, Danny, if he knows yeah, to he strafe, does, he does he's going to pass. <laughs> but if you hit one of those, he's you slow down. Yeah. This I mean, is, this is definitely taking time. Yeah. I mean, is definitely taking time. So maybe him taking the time will pay off. But it's looking like Orange is going to catch up to him. And this is not looking good. For they, him. Look, you could, see, you could see him strafing slightly left. They are not. They don't know to strafe. I am not going to tell him anything. Somebody's coming well, from back here. Just walking? What? 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 He's just walking. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? 
How? I have no clue. I have no clue. But hey, what? he might actually get first place. Watch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He has a, he has a no, gun. No, no. He has a gun. What is he going to do with it? He really needs to use this to his advantage. New he might actually this get as a to... last ditch situation. A bailout, if you if will. He falls, he's about to get the finish line. He might he's... actually. He's going to win. Nomad is going to win. No, I. Nomad came back. It actually got first place. Dragonlord with three minutes and 56. <laughs> right after him is Edo Dax. And then we have maybe wow. I see I do believe has gotten what a close third finish. Place. Literally that was actually really close. In a different... What the fuck? Dude? I, I, there is a thing where some people can walk on this. I guess if they hit within each other or use one of those boxes, if they had saved it, maybe that gives them the opportunity to walk. But I feel like that's uh that's quite interesting. But let's see who's gonna get fourth and fifth. Yeah, right now they are playing literally for honor. There is no prizes for fourth, fifth, or sixth. He has a scout as well. I don't know if he used third. it. Yeah, I think he choked. To be honest with you, I think the nerves got the better of him. Let's go see uh, some of the. Let's, let's go see some of the people who are stuck in the lower levels, and uh, okay. let's see. <laughs> let's just see where they're at because uh, I feel like on your map there were some people. <laughs> oh my god, there's some so far back. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have no clue who this is. It could be Tib Tibe. Uh, Oh, no. Wait, there's somebody still on the balls. He is Wait. only on stage two. Now I don't want to laugh, but uh, <laughs> unfortunate. <I'll> laugh. <laughs> I do want to see if there's any sabotages going on here. So I'm going to go close to the lasers here and see if people are having a good time over these lasers. Oh my god. See, he should have just went. He took the damage. He should have just went right after that. Oh wow, he made it. Is he gonna go over the red? Red does 100 damage. There we go. He did it right. He nice. took a little bit of damage, but that is fine. Here we go. We have we have here the sabotage boxes. Is he gonna get something nice? He got a snowball. It, yeah. He has the, the guy freeze. Is super far to his left. I don't think he's gonna use it. I don't think it's gonna be in his best interest. I too. think he's gonna wait, yeah. Does Look the other guy that. have a gun? I don't know. The I other can't guy see. has a gun. He has a gun, has a gun. But he needs to yeah. reload it. I hope he has. <laughs> Unfortunately, the time is up. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. G G. Nomad has gotten first place. And then we have second place with Eldo Dox. I hope I said that right. And maybe yeah, we'll has guaranteed himself a third place. <laughs> Two knives are being given away. And one person is going to be getting the dragon alert. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Wipeout. Big shout out to Juice Fruity for casting this with me. And also coming up with the idea. He did a different map on his channel with different prizes. So if you guys want to get a chance to enter for these, I do think you guys should watch both their videos so you can get more details on how to enter for the next one. If you guys enjoyed this video, we definitely will do more. And um, I had a lot of fun for this. I hope you this did too, Jason. Absolute blast. It was amazing, dude.